Welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. Summer is finished for the year, and fall is here. Winter is approaching. As the seasons change, so do our bodies and our immune systems. When you or a loved one start to show signs of those changing seasonal allergies or come down with the winter flu, eucalyptus essential oil is a great oil to have in your natural remedy first aid box. Stay tuned, I'm going to give you 11 different benefits of using eucalyptus essential oil and having it in your house and in your everyday first aid kit. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. Hey, 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 everybody. You ready for this eucalyptus essential oil benefits? Because this stuff is amazing. It's amazing. Eucalyptus essential oil is an anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, decongestant, deodorant, antiseptic, antibacterial, stimulating, and other medicinal qualities. But, eucalyptus oil does not only help with allergies, cold, and the flu. I want to tell you more about this amazing and popular essential oil. One thing, well, not one thing, the first thing that eucalyptus essential oil can help you with is respiratory problems. It is effective for treating a number of respiratory problems, including cold, cough, runny nose, sore throat, asthma, nasal congestion, bronchitis, and sinusitis. Because it's an antibacterial, antifungal, anti, I'm sorry, antimicrobial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and decongestant in nature. It makes it a good ingredient in many medicines that treat breathing problems and respiratory problems. You can even gargle using eucalyptus oil mixed with warm, now make sure it's essential oil, okay, and you mix it with warm water and it will help your sore throats. Another thing you can use eucalyptus essential oil for is cleansing wounds. It's used for healing wounds, ulcers, burns, cuts, abrasions, and sores. It's also an effective salve for insect bites and stings. It also protects the open wound or irritated area from developing infection, from microbial activity, and exposure to the air, which usually causes pain. Eucalyptus is a stimulating oil, which means it can help people with disorders that cause sluggishness and tiredness and mental exhaustion. It helps to remove that exhaustion and mental sluggishness and rejuvenates the spirits of the sick. It can also be effective in treating stress and mental di- mental disorders. Since eucalyptus is a vasodilator, which means it opens the blood vessels and helps circulation, it's commonly used to stimulate mental activity and increase blood flow to the brain. Lice. All those moms and dads out there that have youngins, I went through with, with my kids, and I know you guys are too. Eucalyptus oil is well known as a bug repellent and natural pesticide. It's frequently used as a natural treatment for lice. Some of the mainstream treatments of lice can be severe, damaging to the hair, and packed with dangerous chemicals that you do not want being absorbed into your children's skin or yours. So combining a few drops of eucalyptus oil through a lice-infested head is a much better and healthier solution. Eucalyptus is also great 
for muscle pain. If you're experiencing joint and muscle pain, massaging eucalyptus oil on the surface of the skin helps to relieve stress and pain. The volatile eucalyptus oil is an analgesic and anti-inflammatory. Therefore, it's often recommended to patients suffering from rheumatism, sprained ligaments and tendons, stiff muscles, aches, fibrosis, and even nerve pain. I have used this for RSD. I have reflex sympathetic dystrophy. It works. I have a blend that I make called uh, Extra Strength Nervine for those that, that suffer from nerve pain. Please go to my shop and check it out. It works. When you do use it, it should be for pain. Uh, it should be massaged in a circular motion on the affected area of the body. Eucalyptus can be used for intestinal germs. It's a vermifuge and frequently employed to remove germs in the intestines. It's Studies have shown that ingesting eucalyptus oil can deter many of the bacterial, microbial, and parasitic conditions that arise in the various parts of the body, particularly susceptible areas like the colon and the intestines. Eucalyptus is great for skin care when you apply it topically to treat skin infections. It can treat diabetes when ingested. It helps control the blood sugar. Its properties are a vasodilator, as mentioned before. And it means that the entire body benefits from the increase in blood circulation. Diabetic patients commonly suffer from lack of good circulation. And it can be very dangerous, even resulting in amputation or death. Therefore, it's a good idea to frequently massage eucalyptus oil onto the skin topically and also inhale it as a vapor to ease the constriction of the blood vessels. But for best results, massage it onto the skin after a shower, which also has vasodilating and relaxing qualities that will benefit diabetics. Eucalyptus oil can be used for a fever. It's good for treating fever and reducing body temperature. This is why one of the common names of eucalyptus essential oil is the fever oil. It works well when combined with peppermint oil and sprayed on the body as a mixture of a deodorant and temperature reducer. Use eucalyptus oil in soaps, detergents, and household cleaners, and it's primarily due to its pleasant aroma and effect as a deodorant, an antibacterial, an antiseptic, an antimicrobial agent. So it's excellent for cleaning. Also, you can use it as room freshener. Because of the antiseptic and deodorant nature of eucalyptus oil, it makes it a perfect room freshener, especially for hospitals or houses that have sick people in it so it doesn't spread the germs all over and everybody gets it it also kills bacteria and germs in the air so it keeps the environment of the rooms clean and sterilized now i just want to give you some of the cautions now again these podcasts are for informational purposes only i am not a licensed physician i am a certified natural health practitioner but before using any new alternative medical treatments, always consult your doctor or a licensed practitioner for advice or do a patch test. Always perform a patch test before using any new remedies and never use essential oils on babies, infants, or pets. Okay? Do not use essential oils on cats. Or dogs, in my recommendation. If you want to use something natural, use herbal remedies. Tinctures, teas, salves with herbs. Not essential oils. Animals cannot process, their bodies cannot process the oils. They become toxic in their bodies because their livers are not as strong or big as ours. So... 
it becomes toxic to them and can make them very sick, especially your pets and babies or infants, okay? There are some dangers of taking too much eucalyptus oil because when any natural remedy is not taken as directed or taken in larger quantities, it can be toxic. And it also may interfere with other homeopathic treatments, especially when there's people with allergic sensitivities. Eucalyptus essential oil might be might cause airborne contact dermatitis, which can be very uncomfortable or even dangerous. So again, before beginning any alternative medical treatment, consult your doctor, licensed practitioner for advice. You can even contact me. That's what I'm here for. Okay? Because it is my goal to reunite humans and nature by bringing you metaphysically, spiritually, and holistically awesome content. Thank you for listening or watching if you're watching the video. I'd like to invite you to visit my website at www.stregaluna.net and Take a look at all the natural remedies, herbal remedies, essential oil blends, and so many other metaphysical products. Um, I would love to have you there if you'd like to join my mailing list and get a free copy of my angels book. You can go to www.lifeshareuniversity.com. All the links will be in the description below. And I'd like to thank you again for listening or watching and wish you a blessed and amazing day. Namaste. I always referred to my life as a cross between Jerry Springer and Oprah Winfrey. Now, I refer to my life as the Creator's divine plan to enhance the life of others. I was always the bruise on the apple of my parents' eyes, getting in trouble running away, drinking and using drugs from a young adult up to the time I got pregnant with my son at 17 years old. After my son was born, I went right back to my old ways, almost losing my son in the crossfire. And that's just the beginning of my story. Maybe you have some struggles that you're going through, or maybe something from the past that you want to let go. Well, I have the perfect way that you can help yourself change your life for the better. I have online courses that range from spirituality to metaphysical to holistic online courses that can help you learn all the elements of spirituality and change your life for the better. You can visit www.counciloflight.net. That's www.counciloflight.net. Start changing your life now.